today I hope you had a fantastic week and um, I hope you had a good time in church today well if today is your first time on this page my name is Felicia Odunaya and I want to welcome you for the first time we are live on Facebook uh, on safe Omega media at the moment but before we do anything on this platform we need to reference on the creator of our life let us pray heavenly father we thank you we appreciate you we give you all the praise for we enjoying your goodness on the surface of the earth and we thank you for you always being there for us in a time like this on this special sunday we ask O oh lord for you you to grant us wisdom of your word in Jesus name 
Amen. And everyone watching me right now, everyone on any everyone under the sound of my voice shall be blessed. In Jesus mighty name, I pray. Amen. Like I said, we are live on Facebook on Save Omega Media uh, right now. And you can also check us on uh, you can also check us on our YouTube page where you can find more videos that we are uploading. You can also click on the red button on the YouTube uh, channel and you can see many more videos that we have already uploaded or the one we are still going to upload. So clicking on the red button will see it I tell you more when we upload new videos. May you be blessed as you share the word of God in Jesus name. And everyone that has been watching before we want to thank you for watching and we want to appreciate you as you spread the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I want to also tell you more about uh, the Bible stories that we talk about each week. We use these Bible stories to share to young ones who doesn't know much about Bible, who doesn't have the privilege to open the Bible to talk more to to know more stories. That is why we are sharing uh, the Bible stories in the Bible. And may the Lord bless us as we share to our children and as we share even to other parts of the world, even to the elders who, who will be blessed. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I always also want to give you an information about Safe Omega Media. Safe Omega Media will help you to cover all your events all your celebrations and parties, all your trip workshops and um, seminars or whatsoever event you have got that you, you need any coverage. Or you look under the screen, you can find the Save Omega Media and uh, I hope by the time they cover all your events, you'll be very, very much pleased. And may the Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, is another exciting story that we have got today. Today's story is a very special one. I'm super excited about this story and I hope we both we're going to enjoy it. You are going to enjoy it and I am going to enjoy it too on this studio. The story is talking about Jesus and Zacchaeus. Jesus and Zacchaeus. Join me as we read. One day, Jesus passed through Jericho. This city has been destroyed by Joshua long ago. Now it was rebuilt and many people lived there. One day, Jesus passed through Jericho. This city has been destroyed by Joshua long ago. Now it was rebuilt and many people lived there. Among them was named Zacchaeus. Probably the other people in Jericho did not like Zacchaeus very much because he is a tax collector. He collects taxes, money from people. Zacchaeus sends money, um, sent some money of to the government and kept the rest for himself. Being a tax collector made Zacchaeus very rich. His house may have been the biggest and the best in the blocks, but he was also very, very short. Not short of money, but short in his height. Zacchaeus has never grown as tall as others. When Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was in Jericho, the little tax collector wanted to see the man from Nazareth who claims to be God's son. But the cloud were thick. The people were tall. Zacchaeus had an idea. 
do you know what the idea will be let's keep reading if you could go get ahead of the crowd climb a tree that overhung the road you could be able to see jesus climbing up the uh, uh, sycamore tree Zacchaeus found a comfortable side in the branch in the branches and settled down to wait for Jesus. I have a good view, he said. I will see him without being I, 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 I will see him without being seen. Zacchaeus Ori down the little tax collector could not believe his eyes. Jesus stood under the tree. Jesus was looking at him. Jesus was calling on his name. If Zacchaeus was surprised to hear Jesus called him, he must have been amazed when Jesus said, Today, I must stay at your house. Zacchaeus came down so fast, he hurried down the tree. He almost fell. Zacchaeus was thrilled that Jesus would visit him in his home, but the people didn't like it. They complained that Jesus should not have visited a sinner like Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus brought a whole new life. Uh, Jesus brought a whole new life to Zacchaeus and his family. Zacchaeus said, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone, I will give back in four falls as much jesus was pleased at zacchaeus new life he loved to see people turn from their sin and do what is right jesus said the son of man came to seek and to save that which was lost the day in jericho in the day in Jericho, Jesus found Zacchaeus. This is a short story, but before we talk about this story, can we watch this video? What's so special about you? You have to pay as well. I'm poor. Please spare me. Please don't take this. I don't care. No exceptions. You have to pay. Please, please. I'm very poor. Don't take me to the chief tax collector. Please. Hey, take him to the chief. This man refuses to pay tax. Why? What's the matter? Well, I'm poor. Please, consider me and exempt me. No, you have to. Pay it now, or I'll take it by force. But 
those are my last possessions. I kept it to buy food for my family. Please give it back to me. I have nothing. Please, please don't do this. I don't want to hear anything. I want money. This is not right, Zacchaeus. You are acting against God. Haven't you heard what Jesus has said? Jesus, who is he? I don't know him and I don't know his word. He said, how hard is it for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God? Why? Indeed, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. What? Jesus said that? Then how can I enter the kingdom of God? But Jesus also said, what is impossible for human beings is possible for God. You are a sinner. You can't enter the kingdom of God. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. What's happening? Haven't you heard that Jesus of Nazareth has come to our town? Jesus? Everybody is talking about Jesus. What's fascinating about this Jesus? Has he more gold than me? What's special about this man? Jesus, he is God. He is greater than all the gold and all the riches of the world. He entered Jericho and is passing through the front of our house. All are excited to see him. Really? Is this Jesus God? Then I want to see him too. On that day, the deaf shall hear the word of the book. And out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. The scripture will be fulfilled. Yes, the poor will rejoice. Jesus said that. Sell all that you have and distribute it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Treasure in heaven? Zacchaeus, the chief of tax collectors. He too has come to see Jesus. What's his affair with Jesus? You are a sinner. You have no right to see Jesus. Go away.
praise be to you, my Lord and my God. Why is he stopping? I don't know. Let's see. Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. I too was a tax collector. But once I met Jesus, everything changed in my life. What is impossible for human beings is possible for God. Praise be to you, my Lord and my God. It's our fortune that you come to our house. But how can he act like this? He has gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner. servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Lord, have mercy on me. Yes, what is impossible for human beings is possible for God. Surely the kingdom of God has come. 
please give us something to eat. Come and eat and drink anything you want from my house. Lord, I will give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. his house, because he too is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. Praise be to you, my Lord and my God. I am now wealthier. You are my wealth, my Lord and my God. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you besides. He has come to make a new world, a new heaven, a new earth, a new Jerusalem. Yes, did you enjoy that clip? Yes. Zacchaeus went on top of the tree to find his salvation. Are you looking for salvation today? Are you looking for Jesus today? Jesus has promised us that he is everywhere. He's going to be there whenever we call upon him and he will answer us. So this time around, Jesus is not calling Zacchaeus. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you and is calling you now. He's calling you now, not tomorrow, not the next, but now. Zacchaeus could not let his, um, his eyes underestimate him because he was very, very uh, short in his height. And his height could not, he couldn't allow his. Um, physical appearance to stop him from seeing his Lord. He tried hard to see his maker and God has already blessed him. And God found, God, God, found, God sees his heart and God visited him and his home were transformed. Jesus was really happy about the new transformation of a sinner. When a sinner repent of his sins and uh, and be uh, closer to God. God is always happy with that kind of person. And today, my question today is, are you like Zacchaeus? Are you like Zacchaeus? Where people think that Jesus cannot come and visit you or Jesus cannot use you. Or Jesus cannot call you. Today, I want you to give your life to Christ. And Christ will be the Lord. And Christ will, will be your Lord and personal Savior. And the Lord Jesus Christ will come to your home and give you a new life. And give your family a new life. If you want to say this prayer with me, if you want Jesus to come into your home, you can repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sin. I don't want to do the sin anymore. I want you to be my Lord and my personal Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And you know you are convinced that Jesus Christ has called you. If one, anyone be in Christ, is a new creature, 
All things have passed away, and behold, everything has been made new. And for there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Nobody is allowed or permitted to condemn you as long as you have given your life to Christ. So therefore, beloved, today, our lesson for today is that do not condemn anybody because God is the only one that can, con that can, that can judge. God sees everyone's heart. God doesn't want any sinner to be destroyed. And also, most importantly, most importantly, what is impossible for, what is impossible for human being is possible for God. People thought that Zacchaeus can never, never enter into the kingdom of God. He could never make it to heaven. They thought that he was going to perish on the surface in, in hell but God made everything possible for him today always have, I, I always have a free mind of accepting Christ as you have accepted Christ today have a free mind of accepting the Word of God into your life and when you hear people preaching about Christ do not condemn do not talk about uh, men of God, women of God. Do not be part of those who condemn people. Do not be. You are not in a position to, de to condemn anyone. Leave it to God to do the work by himself. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Before we go, I would like to pray with us. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I leave all my viewers into your hands and may you bless them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May they be blessed and may you accept them. May they need you in their homes, in their family, in whatsoever they do. And they need you, they need you to attend to their needs. May the Lord bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. I remain my humble self, Felicia Odunaya. I'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye. Mama wo ti mi ti gbo. Mama wo ju mi ti ri. Mama wo ti mi ti gbo. Na go to pa ti lo ayore o olugbala. Aye mi leto. Na go to pa ti lo ayore o olugbala. Aye mi leto. Momo wa ye mati wi Momo we yo mati so Won ti pe wa ni agonri boya won ti pe o lo lo shiri Sugbon lo ko to te o olubala laye mi leto Sugbon lo 